Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Melissa. This is my uh, newly reminted booktube channel. Um, I just relaunched this uh, last weekend. Um, so it's great to be back. Thank you so much for all the welcome, the warm welcomes that you have um, been posting. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate Kelly from Books I'm Not Reading giving me a shout out on her channel um, the other day for her Friday reads, I believe. So that was really appreciated. So it's nice to be back and talking books with all of you. Kelly had mentioned um, one video I had filmed last spring or so about um, my neighbor's incessant mowing of their lawn. So I thought I would come out here on the deck and um, give you a quick uh, catch up, to see about um, books I'm reading and what I've read this past week before that happens because yes, the neighbor is still, um, uh, how should I say, still passionate about his lawn. <laughs> so anyway, um, anyway, so it's been a good week. It was a short week, but God, another like really brutal one in the United States with all the gun shootings and happening. It's just, it, it, it's just, I am obviously speechless. I, I have no real words. Um, nothing that I can say or do will, you know, convey people, convince people that this is just horrible and just an utter tragedy and we have to do better. I mean, we just have to do better. Um, we have to pass common sense laws so that these shootings don't happen and also it's, it's very distressing and um you know so i'm not in a great headspace about that and a few other things that are happening but there are some good things that occurred this past week um uh, i had some dentist appointments um in the last week last week and this, and this past week to restore my front teeth they were um very like there, there were some brown stains on it so they restored them so you can kind of see um, that they they did that. And so, yeah, so that was good. And um, yeah, so let's get to the books. Um, I am, so on Memorial Day, I read C.S. Lewis's A Grief Observed. This was for, um, th this was, I read this for the Unread Shelf Challenge that I'm participating in. And one of, the the prompts for me, the prompt for May, I guess I kind of learned how to talk again. <laughs> um, the prompt for May was to read the shortest book on your shelf, and this was um, I guess seventy two pages. So I don't know if it's the shortest book that I have, but it pretty much was. So this is a classic. This is C. S. Lewis of Narnia fame, um, and he was you know, quite the scholar and, um, you know, he wrote about religion and faith and spirituality. And this is a, um, meditation or reflection on, um, his wife's passing and it is really well done. Um, he really goes through the, um, his, his grief process after his wife passed. And, um, there were a few things that I found, um, very resonant and very poignant in this. So th this also counts for my classics club um, read as well. So uh, very short book. You can certainly get through this in an hour or so or whatever, depending on how fast you read. Um, but yeah, so that was one of my books this, this past week. Also read Undercover by Beth Kephart. This is very much a backlist title. Um, if you had watched my videos previously, you know that I am a huge fan of Beth Kephart and consider her a friend. Um, and so this is copyright. This was uh, came out in 2007 and uh, it was her first debut novel, not her first book, but her first no novel, which I did not realize. It's a young adult story about a 10th grader um, named Elise Cantor, Elise Cantor, and she is, you know, one of those kids who's kind of invisible, and she is also a poet, and she has this sort of arrangement with some 
guys in her class, in her grade, where she writes love, love poems for the guys to give to their girlfriends. And that's all, that all works out fine and it's all fine and well and good until she kind of develops feelings for one of the guys who she's, you know, um, writing the poems for. She's also having some difficulties at home. Uh, her father it travels a lot for work and he's on a long-term assignment in San Francisco and she's really missing that and her mother is very depressed and sad about that and her sister doesn't really have much to do with her and um, she finds refuge in um, a pond that's hidden and she begins teaching herself how to ice skate. So it takes place in the winter. So if you need something to kind of cool down during these hot months, um, then Undercover is great. But I absolutely love the cover. Isn't it like absolutely gorgeous? It's like the pond and um, the heart and a leaf. And oh, they're also in her class in, in school. They're also talking about uh, poetry and um, Cyrano and um, I think I'm saying that right and anyway so anyway it, it's a great young adult novel if you're into young adult novels and like I said Beth's work is very poetic in and of itself anyway and uh, the language and the descriptions that she has is just fantastic so highly recommend that so those were the two that I finished last week I'm currently reading um, just started this last night. Admit this to no one, and I am not going to even attempt to say Leslie's last name. Um, Leslie is also the author of This Angel on My Chest, a uh, collection, a memoir, a collection of essays, I believe, about her husband's death. And also, she is the author of Silver Girl and a few other books as well. But this is her latest. Admit, admit this to no one and it's a collection of linked stories i love linked stories okay um i think that is probably my favorite genre of reading is um is linked stories and so this is these are all set in washington dc i've only gotten through two of them so far so and they've both been great um the writing is sharp it's witty it's um very it, it, it's great. Um, she's a fantastic writer and I am really enjoying this collection. So hopefully that will hold true. So I am still reading that. Probably will finish that sometime this week. And I am also reading South to America, A Journey Below the Mason-Dixon to Understand the Soul of a Nation by Imani Perry. I read her book, Breathe, which is a letter to her two sons which was fantastic. This is also um, really good. It's structured a little bit differently than one might think. It is not a history book. Um, she makes that very clear in the beginning. So that it's not a history book, um, but it's rather like a journey through the South. So she kind of takes each state and kind of um, focuses on one aspect of that state, whether that's like a historical event or um, a type of food or whatever to kind of put together a whole piece of the South and to under, so to better understand the history and, um, you know, of the region. Um, the premise is that to understand the South, to understand America, you need to understand the South. Um, I had started this on audio and decided to continue it in print. Um, I'm actually reading the Kindle version, um, but I have the print version out from the library at this point. Um, the Kindle is actually easier because there are a lot of passages that I am underlining and find it very interesting. Uh, Imani Perry is a native of the South. She is from I believe outside of Birmingham, Alabama. And so she talks about that as well. So th that is what I've been reading. And I would love to hear what you have been reading. Um, what is kind of providing you with some solace during like these days? I would really love to hear. So anyway, again, thanks so much for the warm welcome back um, to BookTube. I'm excited to be back. And I hope you're all doing well and finding great things to read. And I will talk to you again in my next video real soon. Thanks, book two. Talk to you soon. Bye.